Before watching this video, please go to my video description or the I button to go to my Twitch. I'll be streaming there, not every day, but mostly, ev mostly like days. It's gonna be random, but please go there if you want to see me live stream. And if you want to meet me in VR chat, go ahead. I'm gonna be waiting on you. And now, enjoy the video. Bye bye. Hello everybody, I'm Nicole. You're probably watching this on Monster of Truth channel, but I started my own channel called Nicole Taylor Channel. On the video description, you will see the channel. Please go there and subscribe. I'll be making a lot of videos there, and maybe Monster of Truth will be there. Oh, you're awake. I was kind of waiting for you to wake up, but I guess that's just because I wanted to talk to you. Um, huh? Who am I? Do you seriously not know me? I tutored you in biology. Last year? <sighs> it's, it's okay. I, I get that a lot. My name is Aki, and I see you've already noticed my fangs and my, um, we'll call it a mark on my neck. Yes, I am a vampire. And there goes the screams. Now, c can you just chill? Chill for a moment? Just be quiet? Okay. <laughs> that works better than I thought it would. Um, so, do you have any questions for me that I possibly have answers to? Where are you? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? I'm the only one in the room. You're in a chair. Where you are doesn't have windows. There's stairs leading up somewhere. You're in my basement. Um, you're in my basement. You, I have, I'm not going to say kidnapped. Kidnapped makes it sound awful. I have rescued you from your normal, bad, stupid life before. And I have given you a new life here. A better life with me. Because here, I will take care of you, and you will be just better off here. Um, so about me being a vampire, while you were asleep, I may have just taken a little bit of blood from you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I expected that. Sorry, I was really hungry, and I didn't feel like going out on the town and picking up a few guys at the bar. Not that I'm, like, cheating on you or anything, because I would never cheat on you. I was... It's just to get... It's just to feed off of their blood, don't worry. Um, but I drink some of your blood, so you might want to just not scream or move around for a few days, because... I know from experience, it gets pretty, I got, I got pretty lightheaded when I was first bit, so just staying still and listening to me talk is about the best recovery I can offer. <laughs> um, so, since I love you and you love me, of course, I mean, what did, what did you say? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear you because you are still lightheaded. Um, since I love you and you love me, what's the best thing we can do for each other? You can be my mate. Like, my vampire mate, not like my mate from Australia. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. You agree. You're shaking your head and saying no, but I can see very clearly that you agree. You see, there's benefits to being my mate. Not only do you get me, I know, perfect, 
but um, I will protect you. And anyone that tries to come here for you, to take you back to your home, if one of your girlfriends, I'm saying that with air quotes, I can, I know you can't see because you have a blindfold on, but air quotes girlfriend might come to try and save you. That was air quotes again. Um, I'm going to protect you from them. I am going to rip, just keep you safe. I will keep you safe from them. I will, murder is a really strong word, but I will murder them if they get near you or try to get near you. And then I'll have my meal set for the week. So, actually, maybe I should call your friends over. Just, ah, uh, fast food. Ah, <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Like you're afraid? Because I know you're not afraid. Because if you were afraid, then you'd, um, you're not afraid of me. You're not afraid of me. And that's all. You love me, and I love you, and we're gonna be mates. Now, you're hungry, aren't you? And I see you're shivering. I will bring you a blanket and some what do humans like what's it called i've been to italy before what do they serve there spaghetti and meatballs yes i will make you spaghetti and meatballs um i don't have any meat well i don't have any like beef there is a family of um squirrels in the backyard yeah um, spaghetti and meatballs. So, I should probably get going, and I will let you think about the whole mate thing, even though you don't have to, you don't have to say yes. I already know you're saying yes. This is your agreeing. So, um, we'll do the, um, the official ceremony so that I can become your actual, like, vampire mate um tomorrow evening sound good yeah i'll make you what are they called god um they're like they're like alcohol but they're like fruity cocktails cocktails i will make you a cocktail so it doesn't hurt as much <laughs> of course i'll have to make you into a vampire and that'll kind of suck but then we can suck together. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll leave you to think about our ceremony, our mating ceremony. Don't worry, it's nothing bad, bad. It's just, I turn you into a vampire and then we, like, make out for a long time. And then I think that does it. So, I will see you in about 30 minutes, or however long it takes to cook pasta. Quick question, um, how do you cook pasta? This is just, do you, like, microwave it, or, like, put it over a grill? I don't know. Oh, water. Just normal water, or, oh, <laughs> boiling, boiling water, um... I will keep that in mind. Um, well, um, I will see you later. Bye-bye. <sighs> oh, you're awake and you don't seem to be yelling. Yeah, I'm over here. Uh, you can't see me still, cause your blindfold's on. Here, um, I'll take that off. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you can see me. Um, hmm. You look a little nervous, are you okay? <sighs> oh, you're awake, and you don't seem to be 
Yelling? Yeah, I'm over here. Uh, you can't see me, still, cause your blindfold's on. Here, um, I'll take that off. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you can see me. Um, hmm. You look a little nervous. Are you okay? Nervous about the whole becoming my mate ceremony. We're actually about to start that. Do you have any questions? <laughs> I assure you, you're not going to die. It's rather simple. I just drain your blood, and it, it isn't as bad as it seems, okay? It isn't very bad at all. I just drain your blood, and then I mark you as mine. Well, how I'll be doing that? I'll mark you with my scent. We can cuddle in my bed. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds pretty okay. I've gotten much closer to you when I was explaining. I don't want you to be nervous or afraid of this ceremony. I know you must have been thinking about it all night, but it's just bringing us together. It's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. So, um, I'm going to start the process of draining your blood now, okay? Hold my hand. Yeah, like that. And just squeeze it if anything hurts. I'll stop for you. I'll stop taking your blood for a second. And... I'll just try to help you with the pain. It won't hurt that much, but I know at the beginning it's pretty, pretty scary. So, here we go. <sighs> that doesn't hurt too much, does it? Okay, good. It hurts while well, I'm about finished sucking your blood anyway. <laughs> so, that'll be it. That's all the blood I need. Now, I'm just going to lick where I bit you. Just to make sure that none of any blood is being wasted. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I kind of got into my vampiric self just then. Your blood is just so rich and tasty and sweet. I'm starting to get a little dizzy from how good it felt for me. Uh. But that doesn't matter right now. How are you? How... How are you feeling? Are you okay? Oh no, it hurt. I'm sorry. What can I do to help? Oh, no, you're crying, please. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. No, hold on. Here. Here, I got... 
I got you. You're safe with me, okay? I don't want to hurt you anymore. Not at all. I won't take any more blood. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I won't let anybody hurt you, okay? Okay. I'm sorry for hurting you. I didn't mean for it to end up like this. I didn't think I was hurting you. I went overboard. I'm sorry. But... It was... Quite an adrenaline rush, wasn't it? You're smiling. For the first time... Since you came... You're smiling. I want to kiss you. Is that okay? Are you okay with me kissing you? Yes? You have no idea... How much that means to me, baby. See? Much gentler. You won't have to be afraid when I use my mouth on you again. <laughs> But that'll come later. Don't worry. For now, I... I want to cuddle with you. So, I'll be letting you out of your chair. Please, please don't run away. There. All of... All of your restraints are gone. But... Don't run away. Aw. You're listening to me. I'm going to carry you, okay? It's just something I've been wanting to do for a while. I like the feeling of you in my arms. But I'm guessing it'd feel even better if I was in your arms. But you don't have to worry about that right now. You're probably still a little bit sore and lightheaded. So I'll be the one that's carrying you. <sighs> there you go. Now let's get to my bedroom and fall asleep in each other's arms. <sighs> Stop running. Stop running. I will get you. <clears throat> I warned you. I am a vampire. And you're still recovering from the bite. It really was stupid of you for you to try to escape now. <sighs> Do you even care? Do you even care how, how you hurt me? You woke up in the middle of the night while your arms were still around me. To what? To run away? Don't think I didn't notice when you left. Wait. No. Why are you crying? I'm scaring you. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I'm just... No. I won't let... I won't let my empathy get me out... Get you out of this. You ran away from me. While I was asleep, you tried to escape. You tried to escape this paradise of being with me. Now, you listen and you listen close. I will not tolerate you escaping. The next time you escape, I'll break your legs. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh no, baby, you're crying. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. It's okay. No, I'm just trying to just trying to get you to calm down, okay, baby? Calm down. Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's get you upstairs. Looks like when I when I um slammed you on the ground, 
I um I sprained your your ankle, so I'll get you an ice pack and some and some Advil, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, baby. I shouldn't have hurt you. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. If I knew you hurt that much, I would have stopped talking a while ago. Sorry. But it is important that that you know that I won't I just won't tolerate if you try to escape again, okay? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I'll help you up into bed if you want. Yeah. There you go. All good as new. Well, I say good as new, but I mean... Your ankle is sprained and... <laughs> your new girlfriend is... Either sorry or disappointed. I'm still trying to figure that out. I keep trying to be mad at you, but... Your adorable eyes. I can't get mad at you for long, baby. Ah, uh, even though you tried to escape me, I know you didn't mean anything. You didn't mean. You didn't mean to hurt me. You just. You were afraid, and it was something you could do. Right? Yeah. It's not because you were scared of me or wanted to leave me. It was just you were not ready for what happened last night with the vampire ceremony. So, um, I was going to get you some pain medicine for your ankle. Would you like anything else? Oh, you're a little hungry? Um, what, what would you, what would you like me to make? Um, I've never heard of that before, but I'll find a recipe somewhere, right? Yeah. Um, how, how do you spell it? With an E or an I? Okay. Well, I think I'll be able to make that for you. I hope perfectly, because when I made that those spaghetti and meatballs for you uh, a few nights ago, and you like them, it just it warms my heart that you're enjoying my cooking. It really does. Especially since I'm not very good at it. <sighs> Whatever. I keep getting off topic. I'm going to make you dinner and bring you some Advil. But, um, while, while I'm cooking dinner, you can go to sleep, okay? Just sleep. Because I know... It always helps me feel better when I'm feeling down. Okay? Okay. Well, I'll get to cooking dinner. And, um, I'll see you in a few hours. Or how, however long it takes to make that. I'll see you then. Good night, sweet dreams. D darling are you oh you are finally awake wow uh how long have you been sleeping for um maybe one one and a half day days 
you've been sleeping for about a day and a half now. Um, do you want some water? Because I know humans can't go very long without water, and you aren't quite full vampire yet. So, I don't want to destroy your physical body. That would make it a lot harder for you to become a vampire. Oh, yeah. Here. Here. Um... Why were you sleeping for that long? That is a good question that I don't exactly know the answer to, but I will try. So, um, I looked up human anatomy, and then I looked at your ankle, and I think your ankle might be broken. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why would your ankle be broken? Well, um, I'm guessing from when I kind of dragged you and threw you into a room and did other bad things to you that I shouldn't have done, and I'm very, very sorry about that. I didn't. Well, I, I can't. I just wanted you to be safe. You understand, right? You're really pale, but... Um, it's fine, I was just thinking to myself. Um, so, I think your ankle might be broken, and I think your body is finally kind of reacting to that um, ritual we did a few days ago, maybe four days ago? I don't quite remember. It's felt like eternity since I've seen you conscious, and it's just great to have you around again. It's been kind of lonely the past day, just sitting here, staring at you. Huh? Oh, no, vampires don't exactly need to sleep. We just got our blood from other people. Or, no, we get our energy from the blood from different people that we take. And I have been very energized lately because... Oh, right, you don't know about that yet. Um, so... Um... A few days ago, um, when I kind of broke your ankle... Uh, you were trying to leave me. And I I know it's just from the um, ritual thing and from all of this change in your lifestyle and everything. And I know you didn't actually want to leave me. <laughs> I mean, you you loved me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely, definitely loved me. Um... I just, I'm worrying that you don't feel comfortable or at home or safe here yet, and I just want you to be happy, I guess is what I'm trying to say, and I was on the search engine thing, it's called Google, yes, it is called Google, um, I think, is that how you say it? Is it Gog? Google, okay. Um, I was looking around on there for special things to get your fiancé, because we're, well, we're already mates, but when I looked up mates, it didn't show up anything. But I looked up fiancé because um, I was thinking in a few months we could get married. That would be fun, right? <laughs> Oh, you're blushing. But I looked up things to do for your fiancé, and I found, like, a big list on this, um, what was the website called? It was called, like, Date Diva or something weird like that, and it had pink all over it, and it looked atrocious, but it had some good ideas. And one of them was bake food or make food for your boyfriend, 
or whatever and I decided upon myself to make you um, a pizza now the thing about me is I may be good at like um what am I good at I may be good at some things but cooking is definitely not my um strong suit uh that's why I don't cook blood but you don't need to cook anyway I tried to make you a pizza I didn't know what to make the dough out of because I don't have any ingredients for it so I went out I found this um I found this recipe online and it had all these things that I should put in pizza dough so I put them in pizza dough and um you know between between the um the like packaging of the butter and the the eggshell I didn't know you had to crack those I thought you just put an egg in and it would do s it it didn't turn out very well the the pizza was ruined and it was terrible and I guess you can't set something on fire it's not the same as cooking it in an oven how did I set it on fire oh I I have I I may seem lonely but I have friends um one of them is a demon and she kind of uses like her fire magic she went pew pew and she like set the pizza on fire and it was so cool um and then it burned and my pizza was ruined but it was cool for like five seconds <laughs> so i decided to order pizza because I didn't want to serve you that mess, so I ordered from a place called Domino's because I've seen pretty decent reviews about it. And so I ordered the pizza, I ordered one pizza, and it's a meat lover's pizza because you need more protein in your diet. You're kind of growing as you turn into a vampire. Anyway, so I ordered the pizza, and then the pizza guy comes, and he was like kind of flirting with me. Um, and I decided, no, no, I'm not going to let this stand. So I brought him into my house, and I killed him. <laughs> I killed the pizza guy, imagine that. And then I drained all of his blood, and now we have a corpse in our living room. I don't know what to do with corpses. Um, I may just have my demon friend come back and, um, make him set on fire, too. So I'll need to call Domino's back and tell them they won't be needing him anymore. Or they won't be having him anymore, I guess. <laughs> um, but I got pizza, and it's in the kitchen. Kitchen. It's in the kitchen. Sorry, I, for I forgot the word for kitchen. Just seeing your face kind of gets me a little flustered. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Um, just excited to see you again. So that's in the kitchen. Um, you look like you're about to faint. Are you okay? Your face is really pale and you're kind of shaking. You okay? Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <sighs> Other news, um, your family is looking for you. Um, so, I don't know, should I just, like, move us away from here? Or should I kill your family? Because I don't like the idea of people coming, like, to take you away from me. Because that would be... That would be really bad, and I don't want to do that. But also, I think you'd be a little angry if I killed your family. Uh, yeah, I think we'll move. Where do you want to move? Back home. <laughs> Very funny, that's not gonna happen. Uh, how about we 
should move up in the mountains. That sounds fun. Then we'll be alone, completely alone, and there will be nobody around to find you or to find me or to interrupt us. And it'll just be great and peaceful and silent. And then we can get married up there all alone. It'll be so fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm going out on a tangent. So, I have to go, I have to go, um, do something with that corpse. Not do something with that corpse, like do, like I'm gonna, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go, um, burn that corpse and feel free to go to the kitchen get some pizza i ordered a large or you can sleep either one's fine with me because anything you do makes me happy and hopefully you happy because you're with me but i'm gonna go and um i'll see you later sweetie goodbye <laughs> and um little note if you fucking leave me again, I will cut off your legs. Anyway, enjoy your pizza. Bye, hun. Good morning. <laughs> Did you miss me? I know I missed you. Er, where am I? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm kind of in jail, but, uh, but I'll only be here for a little while, so you don't have to worry. Or, hmm, I've changed my mind. You should worry. That'd be so cute. <laughs> Anyways, the guys here said I could have one call, so I wanted to check up on you. I can't believe they didn't search my house after they knew that I killed someone. Hmm, I'm so lucky they didn't find you. I thought for sure they'd check the closets. Kinda weird. But I guess my luck did kinda run out. This place isn't to my taste at all. The beds are all cold and hard and the pillows are really flat and- Oh yeah, um, the other people here? They're insane. Me? Oh. <sighs> Darling, I'm not insane at all. I'm doing this all for you, remember? I can't believe this all started with me just getting you pizza. But I do admit, it's kind of my fault that I'm here. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to kill the pizza guy and then tell Domino's. But, I mean, the past is in the past. <sighs> People here actually do bad stuff. Like... My roommate, or cellmate, or jailmate, whatever, she killed her husband. Crazy, right? I could never imagine killing you. You're just too important to me. That's why I'll be home by tonight. I may just look like a normal girl, but by God, I will destroy everything and everyone in my way just to make sure that you're mine. <laughs> Ugh. Here I am getting sappy. Well, I suppose now's the right time to ask. <laughs> Did you miss me? I know I missed you. A lot. I started crying last night. They took me last night. Oh, you didn't hear? You must have been asleep. You sleep really heavy. Like... I could be killing someone, and they could be screaming, and you'd have no idea. It's kind of cute how you only wake up when I make you. Anyway, uh, they took me in the middle of the night. After I called Domino's. And, um... They, like, forced me to leave, and... I didn't want to get anybody even more suspicious about me, so... I just went with them, you know? And then they forced me in this cell, and then I had to talk to my roommate and stuff, which was not fun. Trust me, any day I would have rather spent all night talking to you, 
but I mean, she was just so talkative, and I'm not a bad friend, even though she's not my friend, and, uh, if I had the chance, I'd probably kill her too. Um, do you think they're monitoring these calls? I hope not. Uh, I just admitted to a lot of things, and, um, said I would kill someone, and I'm sure that isn't, uh, that isn't very good for my record. <laughs> then again, who cares? Me, probably. I should probably be the one that cares. <sighs> Whatever, you know, it's kind of awkward just talking to you when you're not responding. Why aren't you talking back? It's a little weird. I only ask questions every now and then. Ooh, <laughs> that got you to talk. Well, I think with this call's only going to be ten minutes. They did yell at me about that. Only being ten minutes. They're really mean here, you know? I mean, they're not as mean to me because, I mean... I would say look at me, but you can't. You know what I look like. I'm kind of short, kind of frail. Um, they wouldn't really push me around. Because I'm cute, you know? But they do push other people around. I don't think that's right. But that doesn't matter. I'm not here to change things. I'm here to leave. Well, I'm not here to leave. I'm here to pay for my consequences. I'm going to leave. And when I do, I'm going to go right back home and we are going to catch someone in the middle of the night, kill them, and eat them because, by God, I'm so fucking hungry. I'm so hungry. They're forcing me to eat because I am, quote-unquote, sociopathic. What does that even mean? But they're forcing me to eat food and stuff, and I, it, it, it tastes so bad, because I'm a vampire, and I don't even, I don't eat food, they're, and they're forcing me to eat, like, healthy food, healthy human food, like salads, and sandwiches and stuff, and I hate those so much, if they're going to feed me something, just, like, feed me steak or something. At least that tastes more like blood. Sorry if I'm rambling. Um, we do only have like four minutes left on this call. Um, to be honest, I don't know what to say. I was really excited to talk to you. But what can we really talk about? You've been asleep all the time, and... Back when we went to school together, I didn't, I guess I didn't talk to you enough or <laughs> stalk you enough to learn more about you and what you like. I don't know what to talk to you about. So, I guess I'll just tell you something that I know that I can talk to you about. Listen. I just want to tell you that I really, really love you, like, so much, and I shouldn't have been so reckless and killed someone and then told other people and then gone into jail because I know we've had our differences and I broke your ankle that one time, and I've probably uh, killed many people in the process of bringing you over to my house and keeping you there, but I just want you to know that I love you, and I really hope you love me. Well, I don't hope you love me. I know you do love me, and I know you will love me forever, right? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And to think, just like two minutes ago, I was so depressed. <sighs> now I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I'm like that when I talk to you. Well, after I talk to you. 
while I talk to you, sometimes I'm just a nervous wreck. I miss you. I've already said that probably a billion times, but I do. And I know you miss me. What are you even doing at my house? I thought you'd take this opportunity to, like, escape and, uh, you know, leave and call the cops and be safe somewhere else, but I like that you've stayed at my house because it just kind of solidifies the fact that you love me. Oh, we only have like a minute left and I've gone all sappy. How am I gonna end this now? <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just say one last, I love you, and, um, goodbye. Uh, I still have, like, 20 seconds left, though. Ooh, I know what I can say. If you ever leave me, and if you ever cheat on me, I'll tear you apart. I'll feed your organs to wolves. I'll incinerate your family, and I will boil all of your friends alive. So have a lovely day, sweetheart. I'll see you tonight.